I heard about the course through the Housing Association. Um, it was advertised in one of their newsletters because I'm a Housing Association tenant and also through the Job Centre. So um, I went to the Job Centre to see the Lone Parent Advisor and um, asked her about the course and um, I then called Ross and made an appointment to come out and see Ross. So, um, and I've probably been coming for about four months now. Um, well, first of all, we started off by talking about me and Ross about writing CVs and about where I actually wanted to go. But where I actually wanted to go, I didn't feel was going to work. I really didn't feel was possible because um, I'd been unemployed for a, a long, long time because um, I'm a carer for my son Joshua, who's got autism and something called Clipple Fowl Syndrome. So, um, and also, um, my other son's got mental health problems. So, I found it just didn't think I was ever, ever going to go back to work, ever. So, I've been an unemployed for well, as long as I've been a mum, really. Mm -hmm. And the twins are 15 now. So, I really thought, oh, this is not going to happen, you know, I'm really not going to be able. Just really didn't think I was going to be able to do this. So came down to see Ross, um, started writing out CVs, started talking about what I really wanted to do because I just didn't want to be a carer all my life. You know, I wanted to, I just felt my self-esteem was going real low and that I needed to work and I'd been working voluntary, um, done a lot of voluntary work over the last 10 years. So... Um, but it's all right working voluntary, but you come to a standstill where you think everyone else is getting paid. Mm. Now, I'd also like to get paid for what I do. So, me and Ross just wrote big lists about all my dreams and what I saw myself doing in the future. And I really do think it was going to take years to make everything start happening. I then um, enrolled on a care course with Ross and my now present boss, so um, I'd done a care course, which was um, two weeks, and there was a lot involved. It was a really intense care course. So, um, and yeah, my mind was bubbling every night, you know, thinking about what was the, what was happening. But it was a great feeling at the end when we went up to get our certificates, and we got certificates in everything, um, well, just about everything, movement and handling and hygiene control and well there was probably about eight certificates that we had to keep going up and down <laughs> to get and it was fantastic it was I probably felt like it was my biggest achievement that I'd had for so many years yeah and then um after getting our certificates we actually sat down at the end and we all well most of the group got offered a job if they wanted it and so I thought am I gonna be able to do this now I really really want to do this but am I actually going to be able to do this? Because I do have to get up at nights with my son. I am a full-time carer for Joshua as well. And I thought, am I going to be able to do both things? But there was one part of me that wanted to do it, but one part of me that didn't think it was actually going to be possible. And I really didn't want to set myself up to fail. So I said I'd take the job anyway. Came down, spoke to Ross, and she just encouraged me really to go for it so I was like yeah go on then Ross I'm gonna go for it but I don't know it's gonna work out well the first couple of weeks were probably the two hardest weeks of my life I can honestly say that and I'll probably down there seeing Ross about two or three times a week or on the telephone or actually coming down crying sometimes that I really didn't think that I was going to do it so Ross just encouraged me and um, I called them my voice of reason because being a volunteer working for someone is a lot different to actually being paid to working for someone. So I found just getting back into the working environment was so really hard and um, not used to a lot of things and didn't know how to handle managers and other people. And so Ross was just so experienced in working that I'd always bring her and say, I need to talk to you, we've got a problem, or I've got a problem, and I need to talk to you. It's because I always wanted to feel that I was handling things right. Yeah. So, come down, I'd talk to Ross, and we'd write everything down, and then we'd prepare, plan, and then we'd just sort of talk about, at the end, about the outcome. 
So, any problems that I had when I first started are now gone. Yeah. I still talk to Ross. I like to talk to Ross because I'm going to keep her support on as long as I can. Because I do find that if there is a problem at home, I can, you know, I know I can cope now. I didn't think I could, but I know I can, and I'm so proud of myself. I really am. So, um, yeah, here I am, a carer, but I'm also a support worker. So, yeah, and that's me. <laughs>